The Manning River turtle was listed as endangered in April 2017. It is only found in the Manning Valley on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. People who had been looking for the turtle had noticed that it had been in decline over the last 15, 20 years, and they were concerned that if things weren't done to help the turtle, that it would disappear entirely. Local land services first got involved with the Manning River turtle uh, in 2018, and we helped establish a community event, uh, which had 110 participants from local community members to uh, experts in the field and different government agencies and bodies which has led to the establishment of our current partnership with the Manning River Turtle Steering Committee. Really probably the biggest challenge is getting an understanding of what is this, the ecology of the Manning River Turtle. Where does it live during the, the day? Where does it go at night? Where does it lay its eggs? We've only ever found one nest of the Manning River Turtle. We've been lucky enough to work with some really great ecologists and like Darren Fielder and we've surveyed over 15 kilometres worth of uh, tributaries in the Manning River and this is imperative for us to identify priority areas to protect. We're up in the upper parts of the Manning River catchment and we're in pristine waters. It's all about the endangered Manning River turtle. So we're really trying to find out how many of these turtles are found uh, in the system and are they still functioning uh, with a healthy number of turtles and are there threatening prices at the moment that we could have a look at. The main threats to the Manning River turtle would have to be foxes. Foxes um, will dig up the nests that turtle lay on riverbanks. They'll eat all the eggs and they will even eat the female turtles when they're laying the eggs. Another major threat is water quality. What we're finding is that a lot of the deeper pools in the river are silting up. And this is from uncontrolled stock access, it's from erosion because of a lack of tree cover. And this is causing changes to the habitat and making it difficult for turtles to find food and for places to secrete themselves away during the day. To date, uh, local land services have worked with landholders to protect over 12 kilometres of river frontage and over 80 hectares of riparian habitat along the Manning River and the tributaries uh, which the Manning River turtle inhabit. So that's improved water quality, but also to protect their nesting sites through stock exclusion, uh, but also revegetation and weed control. One of the reasons we um, embarked on a project with local land services was that uh, just across the river from, from our farm was the only confirmed lower Manning River sighting and confirmed nest site of the Manning River turtle. Uh, it feels great to be a part of trying to preserve what is an endangered species on the Manning River. The Manning River is a beautiful river and to be able to preserve a part of it for the Manning River turtle is, it makes you feel good. Very early on it was clear that there was a lot of uh, community engagement and a push for the Manning River turtle thanks to some of the great work early on with the Manning River Turtle Group. We're a group of local community members that got together to raise awareness of the Manning River Turtle. So the partnerships that we form with the Manning River Turtle Group, with a lot of the agencies and the local community, are extremely important and they're really helping to make a big difference um, for the turtle. Those on the steering committee, including Manning River Turtle Conservation Group, and Mid Coast Council, Department of Biodiversity Conservation and the ecologists. It's really helped us to build our engagement and develop a better prioritisation for the Manning River Turtle. We get together regularly, have a steering committee meeting and we talk about where our priorities are. So at the moment we're doing a lot of work in the Dock River catchment because that was severely burnt by the fires and we're also doing some work up in the Bowburn area, which was also badly affected by fires. The funding that's been provided to the Manning River Turtle comprises an Australian government grant under the Bushfire Recovery Program. A significant proportion of the geographic range of the Manning River Turtle was impacted by the disastrous bushfires of 2019. One of the components is funding for on-ground works to help protect and restore and conserve important turtle habitat areas. That work will be focused on high density turtle sites, breeding sites or drought refuges. And the works to be undertaken include riparian restoration, replanting and weed and pest control, as well as fencing. So in terms of the wider community, uh, people that maybe uh, spend time on the river, live near the rivers, 
What we can ask you to do is keep an eye out for Manning River turtles and report any sightings to our group and we can pass that information on to some really valuable databases. The Manning River turtle itself, so when you look at it, uh, it actually has a yellow plastron underneath it and the plastron is the, the underside of the turtle and it, it has a nice yellow stripe down the side of its neck as well. It also has some nice yellow features along its legs and its arms. All the landholders we work with have been fantastic. You know, that's really given them a level of stewardship for their farm and help them to better protect the habitat on their farm, but also help enhance the productivity of their farm as well. Uh, the project with local land services has made managing the farm so much easier. We've got good watering points now. It's easy to move the stock with the laneway system. And what's more important, it's more productive. And, and that's really the nub of it. Um, Doing this is a win for the environment and a win for productivity. This has been a fantastic project to be a part of. The level of uh, positivity involved with the community, stakeholders, landholders. It's a really positive and fulfilling group to be a part of, which are achieving some really great outcomes.